The NFL playoffs are set, and I have a way to find out early who the Super Bowl winner is going to be. It's called Challenges, and we have 13 of them, which will all be selected at random and test teams every aspect of the game. Matchup number one, Steelers versus the Bills. For matchup one, let's go box one, which is Relay Race. In this challenge, both teams' top two overall players will have both chemistry and speed tested, as they must run a 200-yard relay race, successfully relaying the ball to his teammates. The quickest time to move on to the divisional rounds. Pittsburgh's top two players, TJ Watt and Minka Fitzpatrick. Oh gosh, here we go. Three, two, one. Minka is off. Come on. We all know who I'm rooting for. There ain't no question in here. Out to the 50. Going, 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 go. Oh, the stamina's down already. Pitch the ball. TJ. Oh, that was pretty flawless. Now we got the team captain. Defensive MVP running. We missed the offensive lineman. 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, Stop that timer. 22 seconds for the Pittsburgh Steelers isn't enough. Oh, I hope so. Now representing the Bills, Stephon Diggs and Josh Allen. And we're gonna get started in three, two, one, go. Stephon Diggs is off. The score to beat, just over 22 seconds for the both of them. No! Hey boys, this is not looking good for him. We got an early pitch. It's high in the air. Josh Allen might have some ground to make up here. He's going to have to avoid the offensive lineman. Guys, we might have an upset on our hands. Going, going. Oh, this is going to be close. The time, 23 seconds, and we already have our first upset. The Pittsburgh Steelers, you're moving on to the divisional round. Oh, that's going to look so rigged, but I can't see these guys. The awareness aspect failed by Stephon Dix. Let's head on over to the NFC side now where we have the Dallas Cowboys and the Green Bay Packers. We're randomly going to pick tile number nine, and oh, it's the field goal challenge. This will not only be a battle of both tick power and accuracy without composure, where we will go back five Five yards for each make until one kicker misses, eliminating his team from the playoffs. Representing two-seeded Dallas, Brandon Aubrey. And for Green Bay, Anderson Carlson. Our first kick will be from the 30. Aubrey up first, straight down Broadway. Now, this might be one of the last challenges that Green Bay wanted to see. Anderson Carlson, a 69 overall. One of the worst kickers in the league, I think. Hey, hear me out. An upset might be possible, though. We're now moving the kick back five more yards, making this a 52-yard field. Field goal, Aubrey, perfect so far. Carlson from the 35. Oh, he cut that one close, but it's good. It's all we needed to move on. All right, here we go. Back five more. We're booting from the 40-yard line, making this a 57-yard kick, and the leg is there easily. Oh, brother, his last one was way too close for comfort, and this one is no good. Anderson Carlson, you've eliminated the Packers. Dallas Cowboys, congratulations. This next one's a good one. We got the Chiefs and the Dolphins. The challenge that we will be getting is the best Hunt. Oh, shoot. This challenge may seem simple, but only one puck will decide the fate of these teams. Closest to the goal line will move on. Representing the Miami Dolphins, Jake Bailey, he will be up first. Oh, dang. Let's waste no time, he says. The ball's in the air. That looks mad short. Now, we're not going to catch it. We're getting out of the way. Oh, that might be good. Oh, in the end zone. All the Chiefs have to do is pin the ball from the 19 to the one yard line. Tommy Townsend, he's been here before. This should be easy for him, you know? Just don't kick it too far. Ball is at the 20. It looks good. No, no way. Both of these punters are selling. We have an overtime. Are you kidding me? All right, you know what? Since this is round two, the Chiefs are going to be up first. Punts in the air. That's even deeper than before. Oh, that's a nice one though, lads. Look at where the ball's at. Let me get an official score here. Yeah, we're going to officially have that ball marked down at the six yard line. Ooh, baby. We got the pressure on now. Second kick's about to go down as we throw down. Hike is off from the same spot. It is off. Ball right around that 15 yard line. It died. It died at the 10. Kansas City. You're moving on to the divisional round. Up next, we got the LA Rams and we got the Detroit Lions. The challenge that these two teams are going to get is a Hail Mary catch. All right, I like this a lot because we have some pretty good receivers that are going to be jumping up. Not only must both teams have good pass 
pass catchers, but good defense as well because they'll be defending each other in hopes that they take less attempts to score a touchdown. Both teams set up ready to go on the 50-yard line. I'm going to be throwing everyone up to Amon Ross St. Brown, their best receiver. What happens from here happens. That was close, you know. We're heaving this up on attempt number two. We got a scrum in the end zone, picked off by the Rams. Tell you what, these boys got to go and get up for it. Goff threw that one pretty deep. Not good at all. This Rams defense is locking down. We got another one. Hurry up, boys. We got to get down here, man. This is attempt number four. It is... Oh, in and out of the hands. Attempt five now for Detroit. Jared Goof. You done goof that one, didn't you? Definitely not looking good. But remember, this is a challenge that could take many, many attempts. We got try seven for you. RPG incoming. Wow. I'm not too surprised. We're on to double digits now. That's very good placement. You got to get it deeper, Jared. Oh, brother. I'm beginning to feel kind of bad for Detroit. Not really getting close. Try 13 for him. Oh, 15 now. Oh, this is in the front of the end zone. That'd be tragic. Oh. We caught a touchdown. 15 tries. Jamison Williams with the catch. That's not the greatest score, but with how that was going, I think Detroit would definitely take that. Here we go, baby. We need to beat 15. We got Cooper Cup and Puka Nakua. Matt Stafford, that throw was downright abysmal. This is our third try going down. Higby's not even going to get there. Oh! Okay, nothing there. What could have been from 2-2 Atwell, though? This is try four. I'm realizing now how quickly these attempts do pile up. That ball's up. Going towards the back of the end zone. Out of bounds, out of Higby's hands. Their opportunities are there at this point. They're just dropping them. Can the Lions hold the Rams off for 10 more attempts? That's the question. Nine more. Try nine. We got an early heave. Cups not exactly there. Uh-oh. Not many more tries left. Double digits for Los Angeles. Stafford heaving it up. Here we go. That's picked off. 12 is going to be batted. This is now the Rams' last chance to win here. And it is off. Puka Naku is back there. Oh, no good. Now here's where we're at. Attempt 15. The best the Rams can do is force a tie. And it is up. It's a good throw. I like this fouls the Rams. Dropped! No good. I thought it wasn't looking good for Detroit, but they did what they had to. Congratulations on the divisional round. Let's go back to the AFC now. Houston Texans and Cleveland Browns. How about we go with number eight? We're going to get the mini game challenge. Here, both teams will be attempting to get past one of Madden's greatest user linebackers that ever walked the planet. The lowest score will be the team to move on. All right, here we go. One minute on the clock. Now, remember, Cleveland is going to be the team that is going to be up first. Did Jerome Ford already breaks a tackle. That's huge. Harriman, you need to get through and lay a hit stick. There it is. Stretch outside. Oh, that's terrible. Houston got to get these multipliers going. I mean, dude, they're not even going up against Nick Chubb. They can't secure that. That's bad news. This is not looking too good. Hit stick. Another handoff that's toss right. Bop. Okay, this is looking so much better now. This meter is going up, up, up. Up to a time seven. The score 22,350. Oh, uh, no! Jerome Ford's going crazy, boys. That shot the multiplier all the way down to a times one, which is really going to deplete any points that Texas can get here. And maybe our last run. It's a good one. 25,000. Only a silver medal. All right, here we go. Texans set up on defense. I guess it's going to be Devin Singletary. The score to get under. 25,000. He breaks a tackle on his first try. Okay, maybe I'm just off with this. Eight seconds down. Need a hit stick. Boom! All right, as a Brown, we're going to have to get the multiplier up, but it's not working. Can we start a run with Mikhail Walker? 6,000 already. Things are getting dangerous quickly. 14,000, I think. A tackle here. Almost did it. Are we talking about a Cleveland Browns blowout in game one? 28 seconds left, and we have already beaten the score of the Houston Texans, meaning one and only one thing. Them Cleveland Browns won them a playoff game. Welcome to the divisional round. Our final two teams in the wild card will be the Philadelphia Eagles and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and their challenge will be first to get a safety. There are so many different attributes that are playing into this one, but only one weak link, and you could be the reason that your team doesn't move on to the next round. The Eagles will be up first. Now, I won't be controlling any of these guys, just sitting back watching the safety go. That's one attempt down already. Try three now. Now, remember, all plays are random. And hold on. This is 
is going to be their first big blitz, but Baker gets the pass off quick enough. The Eagles started getting close with their next couple attempts, but didn't have any luck until... Boom! There it is! 15 tries down. Is that good? I think so, but I'm not entirely sure. He scored a beat. 15. Very doable. That'll be one of their attempts. We do have Vita Vea. And is that Shaq Bear coming in? None of them get in, though. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> they just gave up a 99-yard touchdown. I should have made a roar. That's an automatic elimination. Anyways, three tries down. The Buccaneers weren't able to pull through on tries four and five. But then they got set up with their first great opportunity. Oh, that's a daddy got him. Vita Vea on try number six. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers home team is beating Philadelphia. I mean, hey, Philly's just washed anyway, so kind of makes sense. Here's a quick look at our fully filled divisional round. Eight NFL teams left. Oh, this is sweet. We got the NFL's best rivalry for our first divisional game. And the challenge for these two teams is... Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is going to be an interesting one. Each team's highest overall lineman will be placed at quarterback, where they will have to score a touchdown in the least amount of attempts. Representing the Steelers, 91 overall X-Factor Cameron Hayward. And for the Ravens, 85 overall Justin Matabuke. Justin will be up first. Again, I control nothing. TJ Watt gets a stop. Our second try. Oh, get on in there again. This is going to be tough for him, man. Try three. If he goes quickly up the middle, he might have this one. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, it only took three tries. Are you kidding me? The Steelers might be done for. <laughs> well, 71 speed Cameron Hayward. Two tries to get in. You're going backwards, sir. This will be the Steelers' last chance with the Ravens on the chopping block. I thought he was going to weave through to force an overtime. He fumbled. Ravens are moving on. That's really, really sad. Our next matchup is the Buccaneers and the San Francisco 49ers. How about we go with tile number three? And that is going to be the field goal block. This one's simple. Block a field goal in less attempts than your opponent and move on. All right, here we go. Try one, Hayes, no good. Try two, looking for that animation, not getting it yet. Our third go at it. It's the same thing over and over again. We're on to our fifth try. Try six. Oh, brother. We're getting nothing here. Eight and nothing. Here we go, 10. And that is still not close. There we go. On 11! He gets it! Okay, not too shabby. Good thing he didn't miss. You know what? I say that's pretty respectable. I think this will maybe be the way to second. Oh, he just missed. This will definitely be the biggest upset if the Bucks pull this off. Oliver's gonna have to get some contact, though. That's try two. Another one for you. Nothing here. We're already at try five. Here's another good one, and it's blocked to the San Francisco 49ers. Do it! Probably no surprise here to anybody else. They'll be going on as the one seed to the conference championship. I tell you what, this is a good matchup here. Cleveland versus Kansas City. How about we go for spot number 10? We're going to be rolling with some wide receiver versus DB one-on-ones. This is a challenge that the Browns can really excel in. Let's talk about route running, catching, and some classic man-covered sudden death edition where just one drop will force your team to get a stop or get eliminated. Dude, the Chiefs are throwing out a rookie. That's so dangerous. They don't really have a choice, though. This is one of their bigness weaknesses. The ball is up, and Denzel Ford is an incompletion. Now it's up to Trent McDuffie to get a stop against a Mari Cooper. One try. Let's see what he got. Oh, I think he burned him really bad. Came back to it and got a stop, though. Since Cleveland's on offense, we're going to give him their first shot at it. This time, back shoulder. Great defense. McDuffie with back-to-back -back stops. Back to Rice now. Oh, we beat his man. Nope. Yo, that's great defense back on the other side. We got a double overtime now. All right, Rice is up again. Oh, man, he scorched, I think. <laughs> What a great defensive play. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. This is for the win. Double overtime. Ball is up. What a throw. What a catch. Wow, let's make sure the feet were in, but I think Cleveland's going to be moving on, people. Indeed, they are. Our final divisional game, maybe my favorite matchup, the Lions versus the Cowboys. We'll go spot seven for them. We're getting pocket presence. Here, an evasive quarterback and great O-line play are key. Protect your guy at all costs and move on if he stays in the pocket longer than his opponents. Our timer is now ready. Here we go. Three, two, one. One try at this ball is hiked. I'm going to try to stay in the pocket here. Avoid everybody I can. Great blocking so far. 
Oh, around seven and a half seconds for Dak Prescott and the Cowboys. Not terrible. I don't know if it's going to be good enough. Let's find out. I'd argue the Cowboys have better pass rushers coming in, but let's find out what they can do. Three, two, one. Boom. Time has started. Goff is going, moving. Micah's an issue. In under four seconds, he got in. No problemo. Well, we got a conference championship game. Let me tell you what. This is pretty real if you ask me. I think this would actually be working. Our AFC championship game will be between the Cleveland Browns and Baltimore Ravens. You know what? Let's go with five. Oh, okay. Okay. This is going to be an interesting one. This will be a fair simulation between both teams, but with their top wide receivers at QB. And no surprise whatsoever, the game started off incredibly defensive until the team started to score. We're now left with a 21-14 game and the Baltimore Ravens have the ball on offense. Can the boy Zay Flowers do it? Let's see what my man's all about. Can he hit a pass as a 12 overall? The answer is yes. Uh-oh, third down. If they don't get this, I don't know whether or not they punt or go for it because they do again have the timeouts. Trying to avoid that decision, but no great defense. Here's the decision from Harbaugh. What's he saying? Stay out there? Oh, shoot. Here we go. The Ravens need this right here or they're practically eliminated. They got it! Wow, what a clutch play. We just need 30 more yards. That, oh, dropped. That's Nelson Aguilar. What else can you expect? Isaiah likely looks like he'd be wide open on a streak here. Look at him up the seam, potentially. I think it might have been there. What was that? We got another fourth down play. Look out for some pressure here from the Cleveland Browns. They're only rushing four all day to throw. Zay Flowers gets brought down, and that might just be it. I can't believe I'm saying this, but the Cleveland Browns are going to the Super Bowl. Oh my God, okay, it's happening. Now representing the NFC, the Dallas Cowboys and the San Francisco 49ers. Their challenge, how about we go with number 12? All oh, the good old classic tug of war. This battle will start at the 50 yard line, alternating offensive plays and until one team gets into their opponent's end zone. Since the Niners are the highest seed, they get to go ball first, and they're going screen pass to McCaffrey. Off a play one, pick up 12, moving the ball to the 38 yard line. It's now Dallas's turn for a rebuttal. Their play, they strike back, wow. And the ball will be at the opposing 37. Now the Niners are backed up a little bit here. They go bunch play action, Purdy on the boot, uh-oh. They're going backwards. For the first time, one of these offenses is in a good spot. And Dallas is going for it all. Good defense, though. Oh, my goodness. The kill shot. No good. Time for a rebuttal. Oh, I don't know about this play. Three tight ends out on the field. And they go for a little check down. They get some yards back. They'll bring it back to the 45. Dak's rolling. He's throwing across. What a pass. Oh, wow. Down at the 20. San Fran better do something quick. They notice. They go five wide. Deep to Christian McCaffrey. He bossed him. Got him out to the 50. Unbelievable. Back to an even playing ground here. What is this play? They're going for it all to Tony Pollard. Oh, the defense. Dallas soiled it. Soiled it. From the 50. It's going to be play action. Oh, tight end screen. Kittle's going. Moves are happening. Super backed up. Here we go. Nothing. Oh, he's just desperation mode. It's picked off. And the 49ers are back at the 28. McCaffrey goes out in motion. We have a five wide set. That's it. Oh, that's a catch. They're down at the two yard line. Not trying to be Captain Obvious, but this is not looking good for the Dallas Cowboys. Almost to safety. 49ers are getting the ball. Uh-oh. This is for game. Cowboys need a stop. McCaffrey. <laughs> Oh, he's in! 49ers are going to the Super Bowl! I thought he tackled him there, but our Super Bowl is now set. We have the Cleveland Browns and the San Francisco 49ers. Our last challenge, number 13, will be the 100 time sim. Yes, that is right. We'll be simulating the Super Bowl game 100 times, adding up each team's total score to get a winner. If you have momentum, don't be afraid to run the score up. And without further ado, our Super Bowl simulations are underway, starting off the Cleveland field goal 49ers clap back. 
Oh dang, Fortnite's pulled away 24-17, our first game. We're now into our second game and 49ers are piling it on. Now remember, wins don't matter as much as up in this score, 42 and we're not even at, we're past, barely past halftime. 49 and 56 to 10. Oh, that's a massacre. Hey, there we go. Cleveland got a win in game three, but it's only by three points. Let's fast forward through the first 50 games and let me tell you what, I was mind blown by the results that we started getting. The San Francisco 49ers were laying out the Cleveland Browns, and I can't even say it was Joe Flacco's fault. The Browns defense just couldn't seem to stop San Fran's offense. So here's where we're at. We are 50 simulations in, and the total score for the Cleveland Browns is 916. If you divide that by the 50 games, they have averaged just over 18 points per game. The San Francisco 49ers, on the other hand, have scored 1,720 points, which if you divide by 50 is nearly 34 and a half per game. Guys, this isn't even close. Right now, Madden is predicting a very boring Super Bowl, a blowout by the San Francisco 49ers, but we still have 50 more simulations left to go, so maybe Cleveland figure some stuff out. Well, Cleveland ended up getting smoked, which means the San Francisco 49ers are going to be your Super Bowl champions. Some quick totals for you guys. After 100 games, the Browns scored 1,882. The 49ers scored 3,411, meaning that Madden's prediction for the Super Bowl is going to be Cleveland 19, San Francisco 34. Real quick before you leave, let me get your Super Bowl predictions down below so you can claim your ticket now if you end up being right. You're the best. God bless. Don't forget to keep it first from your boy. I'm out. Peace. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, hello? Please hit the red subscribe button. Thank you very much. Much appreciated.